It's a different world seeing our world from above. Even at 400 feet, it looks quite different from what you're used to on the ground. I'm Chris Coleman. I'm a GIS developer and licensed drone pilot for Bex Hybrids in Atlanta, Indiana. Bex Hybrids is the fourth largest seed company in the United States. We're the largest family-owned seed company in the United States. We are a corn, soybean, and wheat seed supplier. Looks like we've got a line here in the southeast corner of the field. I think the flight line was uh, a little bit off on this side. My job is developing applications, processing drone information, analyzing that drone information. I spend 90% of my time in the office as a developer. About 10% I'm working with the drones. This is our Matrice 100. It's a little bit of a bigger drone. We can put different sensors on this one. This is a near-infrared camera. The near-infrared helps to show us healthy vegetation, so it's beyond what the eyes can see, so it's a very important instrument in agriculture. Depending on the sensor that we fly, that basically takes the pixels of the imagery, does some math on them, and then outputs a colorized map. We create crop health imagery. I help process that data into indices and sample information. We have about 50 pilots. They upload their imagery to an application that I've built. Our goal is to get good information and apply that information to help our customers succeed. I got started in developing. I was actually in school as a civil engineer. My first development was a home-built GIS system. I really loved making the maps and started with some Esri software. So this is the flight processing software? Okay, so here we're using uh, Esri drone to map to visualize the flight plan and locations of the images that were taken during our flight. Bex Hybrids uses Esri from pretty much the start to the finish. From capture, we use a Esri JavaScript API application to upload imagery and manage that upload process. And then we have an Esri backend where we use the Esri Enterprise Services to host and manage our data locally. To be a drone pilot for a commercial operation, you are required by the FAA to have a small pilot drone license. You have to take an FAA license test at a testing facility. It can be difficult. You should study. Yeah, you can sure make a living as a drone pilot. Once you have that license, you can fly for any commercial use. You could fly for realtors, that's a big market right now. Fire departments, police departments, they can create some amazing video. As a drone pilot, it's good to be able to multitask, keep track of the drone when it's really far away. You still have to keep an eye on it. You have to have good situational awareness for what's around you so you don't run into things, you don't crash the drone, you don't run into people. To be a good developer, you kind of have to understand what somebody's asking. Sometimes you have to interpret their question and work with that to come up with a piece of software that's going to do what they really need at the end of the day. I love my job. I get to develop new software and flying drones is a lot of fun. The drone market has exploded in the last few years. They're everywhere. 